How do we make our food go further? Although food is rising in cost, in the UK we continue to waste around 4.5 million tonnes of it unnecessarily every year, and households tend to waste the majority. RAP have estimated that 66,000 three-bed terraced houses could be filled with the amount of food wasted by households. The good news is, from 2007 to 2018, UK household food waste reduced by around 18%. However, we all want to see this reduce even further, don't we? To reduce the amount of food sent for disposal and to reduce the amount of money we're wasting. Let's take an example. Here's a family with two kids. The question is, how much money can the average family save by reducing food waste in their homes? It's estimated by RAP that around £60 per month could be saved by the average family by simply using or reducing the amount of food bought. What about sending food to landfill? Why is that so important? The reason wasting food and sending it to landfill is an environmental issue is due to the lack of oxygen when the food breaks down. When the food breaks down without oxygen present, methane is released instead of carbon dioxide, which is 28 times more potent. As a result, food waste equates to the same amount of emissions generated by one in five cars on UK roads. That's a lot of unnecessary emissions that could have been saved. Reducing the amount of food you waste doesn't have to be difficult or time consuming. It could actually save you time and money. Here are a few tips which might help to reduce the amount of food in your general waste bin and save you £60 each month. The number one tip for reducing food waste at home is to plan your meals. This can be hard, especially if you have kids or you just like spontaneous plans. However, if you know what you're having to eat for the majority of days during the week, it gives you some wriggle room to do what you want with the rest. Why not sit down before you next go to the supermarket and plan out a number of potential meals for the week? That leads us on to the next tip of writing a shopping list and checking the fridge, freezer and cupboards whilst you're doing it. By doing this, you won't duplicate what you've already got at home and so you'll cut your costs. If you cook too much of something or one of your kids decides to go to a friend's for dinner, for example, you could either have the portion for lunch the next day or freeze it to eat at another time. Reducing food waste at home can also be done by making sure food is being stored correctly. Checking fridge and freezer temperatures are correct is important, as well as also being aware of the difference between used by dates and best before dates. Best before dates are about the quality of food, whilst used by dates are about the safety. It is these ways that we can work together to reduce food waste even further. For more information and helpful tips on reducing your household food waste, visit Love Food Hate Waste website or check out our Less Waste web pages.